So we're gonna service this furnace here today. As you notice, it's pretty well rusted. Pretty dirty. Hasn't been running for maybe a year or two. Uh, if you notice the bottom chamber is empty, that's because we've already removed the squirrel cage and the, uh, we need to buy a new motor and we're going to rebuild this whole furnace. Ugly furnace. By the time we're done, he's going to look just about brand new. So if you notice here where the gas valve is, um, this is the gas valve. It turns on and off to light the pilot. And we've already taken out the uh, pilot and thermocouple took it out of there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take all these burners out. Each of these burners, we're going to take them out and we're going to clean them. Take all the rust out, wire brush them, run water through them, dry them out, put them back in. Okay, go ahead. So this is the burner uh, that we took out. If you tap it, there's rust that will come out of it. And not too much rust, but in all these holes, uh, rust gets stuck and then the gas won't come out. So there's five of these burners and you take them out by, by just lifting up on the back. And then it slides backwards and then it comes out and, and there's all kind of rust stuck in them. So we're going to take them each out and sometimes, sometimes they're, and you can see the rust is just falling, falling out of them. So we're going to get them wire brushed and, and run some water. So that one's a little hard. So you just got, have to put a heavy wrist on it. What did you say before? Force is too much? Yeah. Oh. That's the other thing. Force is too much? Yeah. Force is too much. Uh, effort is not enough. And being is just right. So four of them came right out. And the, four, the fifth one is giving us some trouble. So we're just going to give it some... So I'm going to just try to tap it with a hammer a little bit. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to get the all the burners out and then we're going to stick a brush up inside these holes up in here and a vacuum cleaner and we're going to clean all this rust all out of here all down below all this is just going to be all cleaned up it's going to almost look like a new furnace when we're done so get a good look at it now before we clean it up because this is the back side of the furnace and you'll see there's a it's kind of dirty it's going to all be cleaned up, vacuumed. There's an old humidifier on there we're going to remove. And um, so you can get a good look at what it looks like before we start. Okay, so we got all five, what are there, five burners in there? Yeah. Okay, so we got all five burners out. Now what are you going to do next, Captain? So, <laughs> so... We're going to get our shot back. We're going to get all of these. This is the heat exchanger. And there's all this rust that's in here. There's also rust all the way up. If you follow it up three feet, all the way to the top is the heat exchanger. So we're going to stick our wire brush in there and, and ream out each, each chamber in the heat exchanger. Get all the loose rust out and shot back it. Let's get to doing it. All right, so we're going to use these wire brushes here that are on the floor long handled round wire brushes that we're going to use to clean up inside the heat exchanger. That's going to get us to the top of the heat exchanger.
What are you doing? Just giving it like a little pry, a little tap. Just a little tap. It might sound sound loud, but I'm just trying to loosen loosen it up. And we'll check back. The the flue and it's connected to the top of this heat exchanger box. I'm gonna take it off of here so we can get access. That's it. Okay, so you got that elbow off. And then there's there's a couple screws on this box. Because this whole box this whole box is gonna come off. So there's these couple self-tapping sheet metal screws. Alright, so initially what was wrong with this furnace was this pilot pilot switch. It wasn't working. I don't know if you could hear that. You can hear it now. Mm -hmm. Now the pilot gas is coming out. Uh, initially, let me just grab the, the pilot tube we showed you before. Uh, the pilot assembly, which is this, was clogged. So we took it off and we put a new orifice in it. And so now, it, now it's flowing freely. So the button was stuck. The, the pilot tube itself was stuck. And then as you can see back here, we started to do some cleaning. We already took the burners out, but it's just old. It needs, uh, it needs cleaned and make sure everything's running properly. So we're going to clean the burners. And we're going to, if you look up here, we're going to take this, this box off. This is the, the top of the heat exchanger is behind here. And you can see if you look in this hole a little bit, uh, that's the top of the heat exchanger. You can see the same chambers. So we're going to be able to stick our, our boiler brush through the top and through the bottom and clean it all the way through. Okay, so we're going to vacuum out each one of these chambers. We're going to just clean all the dirt and rust out of there. Just get it clean. Okay. You're just sticking that hose inside the heat exchanger. Getting the bulk of it out now, just to keep a clean job. Once we we run the brush through there, more debris will come down, and we'll clean it again. We've already we've already cleaned the bottom. As you can see, it's it's relatively clean. It's rusted, and we'll wire brush that. You can see here, there's just some rust, and we'll we'll sand that, wire brush it, vacuum it up. We'll wipe it all out with a rag, and and uh, none of that dust will be circulating through the house. Start from left to right. <clears throat> we took the, I'm gonna jump in the middle of those just, All right. but this is the, the squirrel cage and this is the blower that, that circulates, circulates all the air. And you can see that it's, there's dust and uh, old dirt in here. So we're gonna get this all, all cleaned up, wiped down, sanded all this rusty stuff, get all this stuff sanded. And what makes that thing turn? Uh, well, Right in the middle, there's this hole, mm -hmm. and uh, this is where this is the old motor, which was when we turned it on, it started smoking. It's a it's a very it's real old, and uh, and they wear out over time. So we took the motor out, and uh, this your new one here, huh? This is our new motor. This 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 is the motor mount. This wraps around it, and then mounts on the squirrel cage here, and uh, and we'll get to that. This is the the new motor we got in the box and and it's all this is a 2012 so so it's clean and and everything's running smoothly uh, so we're going to be putting that back in we have here two cans of spray paint we're going to once we get everything cleaned uh, we're going to spray paint it that'll make it last longer and uh, keep the rust down and moving to the right we have these are the burners we took out as you saw earlier and there's rust that gets stuck in these holes, so we're gonna run some water through it and get them get these all sanded down. Further to the right, uh, this is the this blocks the heat from coming out. You can see the front door is all rusted too, so we're gonna get that spray painted. And over here is the the old furnace filter. That's actually a, a washable furnace filter. Uh, you can buy ones that you re, you put new ones in every month or every every couple months, but this kind it's for odd sizes and 
you can wash them every so often. So that's that's our scope of work. That's what we're doing, and we're gonna do a nice, neat job and and check back in. Okay. Now that was okay. in front of the. This is the top of the heat exchanger, and so now that that's off, you can get, get all this cleaned out. Um, these are. This is the top of the heat exchanger, and there's a there's five screws on one on each one of these trays. You pull this tray out, and you can see that there's there's all kind of same stuff, rust, soot, and then if you look inside of that heat exchanger right here at the top, now you can go down in there and and ream that out with your brush, and more soot will fall down. This is the top of the heat exchanger. The the hot air comes out of here, comes out of the top of the box that's normally here, and over into the flue. And that's how the hot air goes out of your house. Okay, so show me how you use that brush there to get that cleaned out. So, hold on, let me see. So you got your brush, you stick it down on the top of the heat exchanger. Yeah, I'm trying to get anything that's in there unclogged. And where's it come out? Down below? Straight below. Down here, it's dropping down to the lower section of the heat exchanger. Mm-hmm. Let's and see. Straight through. Using two different brushes. One's like a wire brush, and one's like a softer brush. Yeah, this is a just use it to just soft black bristles. And this is like a it's still soft. Like a round wire brush. Yeah, but it's it's like a wire brush. You stick it down inside there and just get it, loosen up any loose crust or dirt. Or any crust that's in here, that's right. Any old funk. So now we're spray painting the squirrel cage. And you can see the top is high gloss black. And it looks really nice. And we've already prepped everything, cleaned it, sanded it, and you could see that it's covering real, real nice. So now we have our, all of our metal painted black. It looks nice. And we have our back cover off. We're going to paint that a, a tan color. It's called sand. And over at the furnace, we've sprayed the inside where the squirrel cage sits with a, a gloss, and it's still wet. We've sprayed near uh, where the burners go with a high heat paint so, so it can withstand the high heat. We've also painted the, this is the line where the, the gas comes out and it goes into the combination gas valve. Above there, this is, it is painted. I guess it looks a little funny. There was some rust behind there. So we painted that as well. And we're getting ready to set these trays back into the top of the heat exchanger.